Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. Now today is dahlia day, I'm getting cracking with um, digging these dahlias up and getting them ready to put into storage for winter. So just to recap what I've done so far is I've got little plant labels on a bit of wire wrapped around each plant with a name on the plant. It doesn't matter if it's the species name or not, it can be pink flower and then I've used my phone to take a photo of it and where possible I've taken a photo of that label with the flower in the shot as well so next year I've got a guide as to where to go with um, which is which plant and which colour it is so I've got a better idea at planting time so that label now will stay with that plant until it's planted next year so here is that same dahlia plant that was in the last shot and you can clearly see where the stem enters the ground. I'm using a garden fork, just a normal digging fork, because it's only got four points of contact with the soil. A spade goes all the way across, and that can cut the tubers. If there's a big tuber in there, a spade can cut it. A fork, 99% of the time you'll be lucky and won't damage your tuber, which you don't want to do. Now I just put it in next to the plant, about eight, 10 inches away, and go straight down. Then I start just to rock it a bit and push it in a little bit further and then I'll just start to gently lift it and as it starts to topple over as it's doing now what I'm looking to do is just reduce the weight that is on the plant and on the tubers just knock some of the soil off and if I need to go in again I will do. I'm just gently easing the roots out. A little gentle pressure on the stem. And again, I just want to knock some of this soil off. You see, you see how big this tuber is? Coming well away from the plant there. So I just want to take my time. Remove as much of the soil as I can. This dahlia was grown from seed this year, and you can see the roots. I'm going to pull my fork out. The root stock it's made in a year. This should be a brilliant plant next year. And where I've got all this clay soil around it there is some compost you can see in here these darker areas but I raise all my dahlias in compost in pots and try if I've got the compost available to plant them into compost as well because it makes this part so much easier because we really want to clear as much of this soil off as we possibly can So that will do for now and what I will do to finish cleaning that off is I'll soak it in water and then gently hose it down to remove any remaining soil. So there we go, that's the size of the tuber from growing it one year from seed. So here is the motley crew of dahlias that I've dug, dug up and I've left all the foliage and stems and stalks on as you can see and I think there's four trays there and approximately four or five tubers in each and I'm going to start cleaning them up now so we'll, we'll get on with that and I'll show you how I, how I do that so the first thing I need to do is get rid of all this old foliage and I'm just going to cut them off with secateurs at roughly four to five inches long it's not an exact sign it's just to get rid of it and you'll be left with the stem and the tuber so that now needs cleaning so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I've got a barrel over there I'm going to dunk it in the barrel just to wash off some of it and then we'll get the hose pipe on it
So I'm just wanting to get rid of as much loose soil as possible. Occasionally you'll find a bit of weed in there and pull that out just to get it out of the way. You're not actually really cleaning the tube, you're just loosening the dirt around it. So as you can see now that's pretty clean and you can see pretty much most of the way through it. We've actually got two tubers there and I didn't know. So there we go, they're mostly clean now. Moving on to the next step, hose piping, favourite bit. Right, so as these tubers are now, <coughs> excuse me, these are quite clean and they're good enough to store now as they are. They don't need any further washing or whatever. You want a tray and you want to put them upside down so the stalk is at the bottom of the tray and all around this bottom bit you pack compost straight out of a bag and don't worry because you can use the compost again next year for your seeds or whatever and all around the tubers and cover it so you want a nice deep tray you can cut these a bit shorter so they sit deeper in the tray cover them with compost and then just dampen the top of the compost and once a month go and check and make sure that that, that top couple of inches is damp if it isn't wet it again don't soak it you're not trying to grow them you're just trying to keep them moist because these tubers are full of water and full of food for next year's growth and if you let them dry out they will de dehydrate and desiccate so they'll shrivel right right the way up as much the same as an old potato will do and then it's no good for use next year and then that whole tray when you've got all your tubers in there wants to be stored somewhere frost free if it catches a frost it'll kill these if it's too wet they'll rot if they're too dry they'll desiccate so if you're new to dahlias i would recommend that you store them up cut these down store store them in compost to keep your eye on them through winter keep them somewhere frost free uh, that's enough now i'm going a step further I want to propagate these so I need to clean these off because where these tubers come out of the top of the plant so here's the stem here and here's the tuber where these meet is where the growing point is for next year and it is devilishly hard to see and find them and to divide these once you've got the knack which I haven't quite got yet it's relatively easy um, but anyway that's what I'm going to move on with next is cleaning these off and then I'll leave them a couple of days and come back and start dividing them. So there we go, that's that's now a very clean tuber in comparison to the one that's uncleaned and that will help me find these growing points when I come to divide them in a week and I'll do a different video on that but for now that's ready for me um, and I'll go through the rest of these doing exactly the same thing as I've done with these and clean them off, put them back in the trays with their labels and they'll be ready for the next video, there we go. I've got all these cleaned up now, all the foliage is in this barrow behind me to go in the compost heap. These are all washed off with their labels on and I'll give it a couple of days and then I'll come back and look at these with a fresh pair of eyes. But my first, first look at these is I can't actually see any growing points on these and I'm wondering whether it's one of two things. One, some of these tubers I bought as tubers this, this year and they were cheap ones from Wilco's but they were lovely flowers so pound each, put them in flowers for that year. 
and the rest were seed grown ones, ones grown from seed that I, I sowed again this year. And it could just be that these are young immature plants and hence why they haven't got any growing points on or the fact that I've been washing mud off these for the last hour and I'm, all I'm seeing is mud and water. I mean I'm absolutely drenched in a minute. So I'll leave them a couple of days and I'll come back to them and have a look. And if I can find growing points, I'll make a second video um, about dividing them. If I can't, then I won't. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Look after yourselves, everyone. Please stay safe and take care. Till now.